All right, welcome back. In this next video, we're going to show you how to add a little bit of narration or audio to your video. You can see that there's already an audio track here for you. And if you go to this audio button right here, you can see that uh, we video has a bunch of audio that you can use if you want to. And this is just kind of generic background video music or those inspirational videos you sometimes see. And some of these might sound familiar to you. So you can choose any one of these. And all you do is you grab one of these and you drag it down to this um, audio one track. And you can see that it goes for a long time here. You can go like that or you can even zoom out to see it a little bit. Um, so I'm going to first do a little bit of cleanup here. If I do some transitions here to between my videos, I'm going to put that right here. And then uh, another trick that you can do is if you want to move a couple of things at once, you can actually uh, highlight them and move them all. So if I wanted to move all of these and I wanted to bump it up, I can move them all together just like that. I'm going to delete these ones because I'm not going to need those in my final product. And then this audio file is a little bit too long. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end here and I'm going to drag it all the way back until I want to match it up to where my video ends right there. And then that way it'll be just play audio where I want it to play. Now when I preview this, and I can bring my playhead way over to the front here again, and I'm going to play this video and it'll play music in the background now of my video. You can also control the volume of that by doing it right here. And then you can press play. And now there's video added to the background of your, or sorry, audio added to the background of your video. Now you may also want to add some narration to your video. So what you can do here is you can go back to um, my media and you can see you can record or narrate. Now recording is just like a screencastify. You can record yourself. So if you wanted to have your webcam and you record and speak and then add it into your video, you can actually record it right in here and you don't have to import a screencastify video. But if you have a screencastify video, of course you can import that as well or any other video that you have created um, or you can also add an audio a narration so if i wanted to add a little narration to this um, to the beginning parts where it says welcome to we video tutorial i can add a little narration there too by just clicking this narration button and then you can say it says get close to the mic i can mute the video while recording which is probably a good thing um, you can adjust volumes once you get better at it you can adjust the volume down at the beginning of it and i can show you a little bit of a trick for that too but what i want you to see is how to record a, a narration here so i'm just going to click record it's going to count me down welcome to the we video tutorial and then once you have it, you can play it back and listen to it. Welcome to the Wii Video Tutorial. And if you like it, you can say save. And it's going to take us back to our dashboard right here. or our. And then what, what you can see is it actually will automatically put it in. So I just scrolled down there. It, it made a new track for me called VoiceOver, which is my narration. And it starts right here. So if I want to preview this. So what I was saying about the audio too is if I wanted to, I could actually turn this down. So it's the same thing again. I'm going to make a little bit of a, a new one here and I'm going to fade that music in so that it's um, I can hear my voice better maybe at the beginning and then the music will gradually get louder and go on. So if I do that, I'll bring this back and I will see if that all worked out. Welcome to the Wii Video Tutorial. And then the music will play. So, so far I'm enjoying what I have here. And you can see I can also fade in my voice. I can also cut this track too. So it's the same thing. I can use this playhead to cut that audio. You can see there's a little bit of dead air if I wanted to. So I could start speaking. So if I just bring my playhead over here a little bit and I say cut, I'm going to cut that first little bit out to make it a little bit better. And then I'm just going to bump that one back on. And there, my narration now will go over all of this. And it, um, the music will be ahead of my voice, so that's why I wanted to turn that down. So all the tracks, this is the layers of it is. This is always the top layer. And I had a, a one of my a teacher friends tell me that it's like a pizza, where the this one's kind of like the 
the video one is where you're building it and then this is kind of on top so this is the bottom part this could be the pizza and then these are all the sprinklings on top so that um, that's what you'd see so that's kind of how that layering works right there and that's how you would put in a narration and audio into here now the audio obviously you can use any of these ones that are given here but if you have any mp3s out there you can also import those mp3s and put them in as well and use that as your audio so good luck and um, we'll see you in the next video